this is the first year that I've been using any mobile learning methods in my courses. Um, my students are graduate students, and so they're not provided with devices um, you know, by the university, but a lot of them have devices anyway. And so uh, this year, I've um, been using the course blogs uh, here at ACU, and I've also been producing some podcasts to supplement um, course material. I've emailed, um, phoned um, the authors of these books, the major theorists in our field, and asked them, hey, would you be willing to do an interview with me over the phone, um, and I record it, create it into a podcast for use in my classes. And so I have a series of about 10 um, podcasts, about 20 minute podcasts that I've created where I'm interviewing uh, the major theorists in our field and asking them to share additional information about their work, to give advice to our students as they begin their professional careers in marriage and family therapy, uh, to tell us a little bit about you know, their most current research, maybe something that's not in print yet that they're working on that we can be looking for. Um, and that's been really um, great for the students. They, they've really enjoyed not only being able to read um, what these people are writing and the books that they're, you know, that they're required to read for their courses, but to hear me having a conversation uh, with these people. And it makes them more approachable, I think, um, and kind of makes what they're reading um, more, more real in a lot of ways. I am finding significant differences in student engagement between uh, those in the classes where they are using things like blogging and podcasting and the classes in which they're not. I've been collecting um, some data from them at the end of each semester. Uh, the data that I have is saying that, that these, me these learning methods are having a significant impact on student engagement, even in graduate school, which graduate students are generally already pretty engaged. So I think that's, that's a pretty significant finding.